This 26 year old works only 20 minutes per day and he earns $462,000 every single year. Apparently, his name is Francisco Rivera and he was working an online tutoring job before his fortune fulfillment, revenue revolution, sources search, prosperity peak, financial breakthrough, call it whatever you want, but the thing is, he is now a millionaire. So apparently this news has been going viral recently so if you haven't heard about it I think this is the perfect time for you. Firstly we'll talk about his story then after that we'll talk about how he was able to scale from $0 to $462,000 in just two years. Basically it is right here from this article that Francisco Rivera's original plan after college graduation was to work in music and travel but after he finished his graduation um, in music production at Food Sale University in 2017 he couldn't find a job in the industry so Rivera made money where he could like he worked in an Apple store then he nabbed a part-time gig for online tutoring company out school those jobs weren't satisfying or lucrative at least compared to what he does now in February 2023 Rivera started selling print on demand candles on Etsy. Etsy is just like Shopify you know where you you know create an account and sell stuff to people yeah he worked four to five hours a day and only brought in a couple hundred dollars a month it's actually okay hundred dollars per month is is good but two months later rivera was on a date when his side hustle catapulted into popularity he received over 70 orders that day compared to what he usually sells which is like 10. i was so distracted because my phone wouldn't stop buzzing it's so awesome i wonder how he was maybe he's disturbed by this i don't know if he's disturbed but yeah it seemed like last year he brought in four hundred and sixty two thousand dollars in sales in one year which is absolutely amazing according to documents reviewed by cnbc make it that averages roughly thirty eight thousand five hundred dollars per month you know cnbc uh, make it is actually the article i'm reading right now that's the website that posts you know lovely things like this for me to react to and yeah rivera estimates 30 percent to 50 percent of each sales as profits the remaining cash space uh, for etsy fees you know if you own a store you know you have to pay maybe compensation or tithes how the government calls it taxes you have to pay taxes and which were nearly fifty five thousand dollars last year that he paid fifty five thousand dollars out of the four hundred and sixty two thousand dollars he earned in sales so apparently the services he used to connect the manufacturers was like marketing and printify i don't know what printify is but yeah that's literally what it says the success of rivera's etsy shop allowed him to quit his tutoring job in december this year he used this extra time to travel the world he um you know yeah he finally you know got his financial breakthrough so he can now travel the world just like you remember when i said in the beginning that he wanted to work in music and travel so yeah finally have the money to do that being my own boss is very fulfilling i know most of us wants to be our own boss just like me if i don't want to be my own boss i won't have a youtube channel and yeah that's just me i don't know of you but i know you eventually because we are all humans and now is the time we've all been waiting for how did francisco rivera scale from zero dollars to four hundred and sixty two thousand dollars in less than two years so apparently the first method he used was leveraging assistant skills so basically after college rivera worked in apple stores in dallas fort worth areas for three years there he learned how to multitask build relationships and solve customer problems even when people yelled at him he says you know if i'm being honest i usually work doordash sometime and you know customers aren't that nice awful people so yeah um i kind of feel what he's trying to say here he moved to orlando his hometown in 2020 there he took the job with out school where he taught seven to 12 year olds how to build social and critical thinking skills on the popular online game minecraft so in case you don't know what minecraft is minecraft is actually very popular on youtube and so many other social media platforms and for me it's actually crazy that you can make money out of teaching people online how to do certain things like you know playing minecraft which yeah the pay was good it was up to hundred dollars per hour and it was his first introduction to online businesses apparently you can do so many things online which involves teaching kids how to play minecraft so rivera started seeking new ways to make income when demand for online tutoring once after the pandemic he says 
so you know after 2020 um so many parents wanted their children to learn certain things because you know they were staying at home all day and that's not kind of good for your brain yeah so that's when he stumbled upon a youtube video about print on demand the popular side hustle has a simple concept sellers create design for products like t-shirts tote bags or mugs then list the design on online marketplaces after an order is placed, a manufacturer prints the design onto the product and ships it to the direct customer. As Rivera did more research, he realized just how many people were already selling apparel. More competition, another YouTube video informed him would make it harder for his shop to go viral, which is kind of sad. He scored Printify's catalog for more ideas that he searched on Printify to get more ideas to start up a business and landed on candles, a relatively new and less popular product he figured even though he is allergic to candles. I wanted to make an artistic neutral candle that could fit into any space. I also love humor. I like the idea of brainstorming phrases for specific niches. He says his customer service skills also likely helped his shop quickly to accumulate positive reviews and bolster his reputation on the platform. The second strategy was actually learned through failure and which most of us despise because most human beings on planet earth doesn't like to fail. And Rivera's experiment with strategies learned through trial and error and YouTube tutorials to help his Epsi store stand out. He says he utters his uh, product descriptions, updates product photos and invests in internal marketing on Etsy to get his candles in front of as many users as possible. So that's literally what he's trying to say. Like for instance, I'm a YouTuber. If I want my video to be shown to a couple hundred people, I will have to pay for promotion to YouTube. That's like $3 per thousand views. So, and it's not an expensive model. Listing each product on ST costs 20 cents, then the platform takes 6.5% on every scale. He borrowed someone else's Canva account, but the pro version cost only $120 per year. While traveling, Rivera still works less than an hour per day. When he's home in Orlando, he dedicates two hours at least one day a week to researching platform trends. He says the research phase is time consuming, but crucial to his success, Rivera says. He spends that time figuring out how to appeal to a hyper specific group of individuals like hockey moms, new parents who hate dirty diapers, bridal parties, divorcees, and people in long distance relationships. Rivera is considering expanding the business, potentially leaning into his tutoring expertise to produce his own print on demand YouTube videos. You know, just like the YouTube video I'm doing right now, he's trying to do. A different kind of video just like teaching people how to do print on demand just like he watched earlier but it comes with a cost he would have to give up his free time and therefore a slice of his music and traveling pursuit so he's no longer trying to pursue the dream of him working in music and travel there is value in time and value and flexibility rivera says i would take a pay cut if it allowed me to do what i'm doing with my free time so basically that's the video guys um hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you learned something from today's video and um, please consider subscribing if i taught you something and if you felt some kind of way about what i said please tell me in the comment section tell me how to improve because i'm literally just starting up this kind of niche on youtube and you know i'm trying to get better every single day so yeah thank you and like the video to help the i don't know i'm talking too much bye